What's up beautiful people? It's yet another beautiful day. Welcome. My name is Terry Banks and you are watching Tony Show. A blessed to create the life that you desire and deserve. Um, my video doesn't have the best of the quality, but you bear with me. I am recording at night and I guess my light is not so good, but regardless, we move. In today's video, I'm going to share with you why couples actually fall out of love with each other and what you can do about it so if you're in a relationship and feel like things are not going as you wish they would this video is for you because i'm going to share with you the possible solutions that you can try out so you can make your relationship better so before i go any further i'd like to appreciate everyone who is a subscriber to my channel Thank you so much for supporting me, for being here and for always giving me the energy to push on. And if this is your first time here, welcome to the family. If you're looking forward to elevating your love life, your self-love, personal development, financial literacy, and so much more, this is the right place for you. Um, I upload videos every Sunday about relationships, personal development, and ATC, but every day I post a video so that I can keep my channel active. So click that bell button so you don't get to miss out anything from your girl. Anyhow, without any further ado, let's go straight to reason number one as to why couples fall out of love with each other. And by the end of this video, I'll be sharing with you the solution. So, Research shows that 85% of couples fall out of love because of lack of money. So it's very important for couples to work so hard because as they say that money is the root cause of evil, poverty is the real root cause of evil in relationships. Now, this is what happens. When, for instance, a man, because they were naturally created to be providers, when he goes through a, a financial setback, it's natural for the woman to feel let down. Now what happens is that she will feel like most of her expectations are not fulfilled in the relationship. That is if a man cannot provide. And what will happen is that the amount of respect that she had for the man will gradually reduce. It's natural but it, this is something you can work upon because um, they say the devil you know. When you know the problem, you can prevent it if it actually happens. And when it happens, you can actually do something about it. this is something that is temporarily there. so ladies you need to be very patient with your men because this is just a situation this is just a setback and uh, but things lie ahead so if you cannot support your man in such a situation there is no way they're going to trust you when they make it in life next is poor communication now this is what happens when the man cannot provide for the family and the lady loses respect for the man so communication is going to be bad because she will feel like why would i i mean why would i even talk about this it doesn't make sense anymore and the man will feel like his ego as a man is tempered with so will also be hesitant to talk about it because first of all he'll be guilty because he's not in a position to provide for the family and secondly of course he's a man so he's expecting a woman to totally understand what's going on even without explaining third reason is ego now yeah you broke you have poor communication of course ego is part of it because uh, if you don't have a lot of ego communication is easy but because you all feel ego the lady feels like after all i'm the one taking responsibility of the family after all he's not doing anything to help so um i don't mind i don't I, there is nothing for us to talk about and then the man will be like i am a man regardless even if i don't provide for the family i am still a man so that is ego another reason as to why couples do fall out of love with each other is because of lack of intimacy in a relationship now of course you broke like i said you have ego you have poor communication habits there is no way you're gonna have good sex there is no way you're going to make out because you are so mad at each other sex starts with the mind it starts with the brain if you don't feel it there is no way you're going to do it so you lack intimacy in the relationship then what next without intimacy there is no marriage of course i wouldn't say there is no relationship because according to the bible 
um, and sexually outside of marriage, but well, how about these people who are cohabiting? So, sex is a huge part in any relationship or marriage. The next reason as to why couples to fall out of love each other is because uh, people actually do change. Now, this is what happens. When you are with someone, year one, year two, year three, year four, year five, these people are going to outgrow some things. These people are going to change, whether you like it or not. And now what happens is that when someone outgrows the person that they used to be, you feel like they are different. You feel like this is not a man I fell in love with. But in actual sense, um, people are bound to change as time goes on. Some of these changes are, are not things that you'd like about your partner. And definitely, you will lose interest in them because you feel like they already know what you want but they are doing other ways and lastly is lack of self-love now if you don't love yourself enough there is no way you can love your partner right because when you love yourself enough it's going to overflow and and portrays to the people around you so when you hate yourself all you do is project hate to those around you so self-love is very important when you love yourself enough that means you're going to take good care of yourself um, you're going to practice good self-care habits uh, you're going to work on your body you're going to look good um, you're going to work on your mental health and all that but if you don't love yourself enough you're going to be reluctant about those things that help you to to feel better about yourself and the only thing that you feel like can accomplish you the only person you feel like can love you is your partner which is not right because there is no amount of love that can be enough for you other than self-love so that being said i would love to know if there is any of these situations that you're facing in your family you can share with me in the comment section below so i can know because the good news is that as much as you're going through all these challenges in your relationship or your marriage that's not the end of the world because i am about to share with you the solutions that are going to help you work upon that if you're just joining in welcome to find the show we have been talking about reasons as to why couples do fall out of love with each other and right now we're going to share the solutions that can help you to work on such problems now if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please do because i share videos every sunday about relationships personal development self-love financial literacy and so much more and i also share a short video on my channel every day it could be a tip it could be a clip about how i've spent my day it could be anything that makes me happy that i want to share with you so click that bell button so you get to be notified whenever i upload a new video on my channel now if you lost interest in your partner what can you do to solve that tip number one is communication now communication has such a huge impact in a relationship because guys yo look at this however much your partner is stubborn or something however much your partner is doing everything to piss you up if you don't talk to them about it how will they know sometimes people do things because they don't even know that it's affecting other that is affecting another person so you always need to communicate to your partner how you feel um what you feel and what you expect them to do for you so yeah communication is something that can help you in such a situation if you feel like you're growing apart from your partner if you feel like you don't feel the same way about them please it's very okay to sit them down and share with them how you feel so you can find solutions on what to do about it next is respect like we said poverty is the root cause of most of this so regardless of whatever financial setback you are going through you need to understand that he is still your man you need to understand that he's still the head of the family so sis you still need to bend low and respect him regardless because like i said this is just a phase of your life that is not permanent okay it's happening right now but two years from now it's going to be history and it's going to be something that you're going to look back at and say wow that was one hell of um, a phase in our lives but things are different right now so you need to respect your man regardless of what's going on because if you don't it's gonna be so hard the next thing you need to do is to put in effort every single day now problem is that when you've been with a person for a long time you feel like um i don't have to make any effort anymore like he's already my man she's already my woman so i mean i just strength anymore but honestly speaking 
love needs to be renewed every single day so every single day it's very important for you to do things that make your partner feel loved and appreciated on a daily basis when you stop doing these things your partner is going to feel it they're going to feel like something is wrong they're going to feel like my partner doesn't care about me like they used to uh, and it's going to affect the relationship so try your best to put in effort every single day to make your partner feel loved and appreciated next thing is to avoid comparison now oh my god Comparison is such a killer of good relationships. Now, when we go to social media, we look at these people, oh, lovey daddy, and we wish we had relationships like that. But like I always tell you guys, people show you only what they want you to see. Someone is not going to show you um, a scene in their life where they're struggling, where they're fighting, okay? Only the insane people do that. But People that I know, people who want to influence you, people who call themselves influencers, they want to show you only the pitch perfect picture. So um, I want you to understand that it doesn't make the relationships or marriages perfect. It doesn't make mine perfect either. Me being here telling you what you're supposed to do doesn't mean that mine is perfect. What I share with you I, in most cases is something that I sit back and um, and talk to myself that Teddy, you need to work on this. Teddy, you need to change on this. So what I do, I teach you as I learn from what I teach you. That is, if I make sense. So there is nothing like a perfect relationship, and there is no reason as to why you should feel like somebody else's relationship is better than yours. If there is something that you like about the relationship, you can just copy their leaf and paste in yours, other than wishing that you had the other relationship because. If you're not contented, if you don't have gratitude, then you're not going to be happy within your relationship or your marriage like at all. The next thing that you need to work on, and I really, really need to work on, is ego. Now, like I said, some people, they know what they're supposed to do. They know they're supposed to apologize. They know they're supposed to approach their partners first. And they don't because ego is at work. But you need to lay low and put your ego down. When it comes to relationships because the devil is not seated too something small can take away a relationship of years and years or can break a marriage so please try as much as possible to work on your ego so that it's easy for you to communicate to your partner about anything disturbing your mind about anything that you feel like is not going on right within your relationship Next is to know your partner's love language. Now, I don't know if you watch my video about love languages, but if you haven't, I'm going to leave it in the description box above so you can check it out. How you can know your partner's love language because everybody has a different love language. My love language is not your love language. And your partner's love language could not be your love language. So you need to watch this video so you can know what exactly makes your partner feel more loved and appreciated. Last but not least is the seat of financial independence or financial freedom. Like we said, poverty is the root cause of all evil in relationships. If you cannot provide for yourself what you want and you want your man to provide that for you, is the reason as to why you're going to be mad at him when you cannot afford that. Forgetting that you have hands too, you have legs, and you have the capability of working and getting your own money. So, I know men were created to be providers, but this you can do be responsible for your life for your needs you're not in a relationship to pay your bills you're not in a, rela a relationship is not your business so you need to understand that however much is the man's role to 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 take care of family's financial needs it's also the role of the woman to help a man where he cannot help himself so yeah go get a job sis next is to understand that you are a team and to be a team now what people need to understand is that a relationship is for two people. You can face all the challenges and go around to the next person and tell them what's happening. But at the end of the day, it's going to take the two of you to work on those. So, instead of running to your family or your friends telling them about what's happening and what's not happening, how about sitting with your partner and talking about all that? Because at the end of the day, it takes the two of you to make the relationship work or fail. The only person that you should run to uh, probably should be your coach, okay? Like you can run to me and tell me what's up, but you shouldn't run to your family because at the end of the day, you're going to forgive your partner and your family is not going to. So, 
always be mindful that a relationship you're in, you are a team. Okay? It's just the two of you that is key to make it work or make it fail. And lastly, you need to work on yourself. Working on yourself is um, working on your physical appearance, working on your mental health, on your skills. I mean, you need to make sure that every single day that goes by, you become better than you were yesterday. When you're so busy with your life, you won't even find time to see the loopholes that are going on in somebody else's life because you're so busy trying to make yours better. And when you're in a better place, it's very easy for you to understand people around you and why they do things that they do. So, self-love and working on yourself is very important in a relationship. Wow, congratulations. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. I appreciate you so much. So, let me know which tip you're going to start with so you can make your relationship better. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, share your comments, share this video with people that you think could be interested in it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet done so. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate you for being here. Much love. God bless you.